Hello and welcome to episode 20 of Give Yourself Some Leeway with me, your host, Eugene Lee. This podcast is dedicated to helping high achievers reclaim a healthier work-life balance without sacrificing their growth or success. In the month of February, we've been focusing on cultivating that growth mindset. So far, we've looked at continuous improvement principles such as Kaizen, removing negativity from your environment using tools such as the digital detox, And now I want to cover the aspect of overcoming the obstacle of fear. Now we know that fear can be a crippling emotion that can keep us from achieving our goals, but it's important to understand that this fear is normal and it's okay to feel it. And it doesn't have to hold us back. In today's episode, I want to discuss how to overcome that fear and develop that growth mindset. If you enjoy today's episode, reach out at giveyourselfsomeleeway.com on our social media, or shoot me an email, eugene at leeway.ie. Thank you, and I really hope you enjoyed today's episode. Fear can take many forms, and it's essential to understand what you're afraid of so that you can overcome it, whether it be fear of failure, fear of the unknown, fear of spiders, or fear of public speaking. The list goes on. Fear is your brain's way of trying to protect you, but it can also hold you back. Fear triggers your body's sympathetic nervous system. It's the natural fight or flight response, making your heart race or your palms sweat. Knowing how your fear affects your body can help you to identify and manage it. So the first step in overcoming your fear is by first understanding it. Now, now that we know what fear is and how we can understand when it's happening to us, let's talk about how to overcome your fear. So one popular technique is exposure therapy, and that can help you conquer your fears. It involves gradually exposing yourself to the object or the situation that scares you until you no longer feel afraid. Sometimes it helps to even visualize these situations. Let's say you have a fear of public speaking and you just visualize yourself in a room of 10, 20, 100 people and how your body would react. Sometimes it is natural for your heart to race and your palms to sweat even thinking of that situation. But as you rehearse yourself through that situation and visualize it, you become more comfortable in the discomfort. And that's one way of overcoming it, uh, one way of exposure therapy without actually putting yourself in that physical fight or flight response. Another technique is using mindfulness, and that teaches you to live in the present moment. Think of staying in the now and not letting the fear control your thoughts. It's like becoming aware of your situation and taking action. When you face your fears head on when, with your own awareness and keeping your body in control, you will see that you're capable of handling the situation yourself. And in that practice over time, your confidence in yourself will grow. So overcoming fear, whether that be fear of failure, fear of spiders, and again, fear of public speaking, it's the first step in developing a growth mindset. It's one of the first obstacles that we all tend to face is overcoming our own personal fears, our own personal hurdles that hold us back. And that's exactly what a growth mindset is all about. It's gaining that confidence and believing that you can learn and grow no matter how much you fail. It's about changing that 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 thought that goes to your mind when it comes to failure that once you fail that that's it you give up but failure is just another learning opportunity instead of saying i failed a maths test it's i learned that i didn't i I didn't um have a great time on that maths test but next time i might study more or oh i failed going to the gym three times this week Uh, You change that to, I learned that I wasn't capable of going to the gym three times this week because of my workload. I better schedule it better next week. Again, it's all about changing your mindset and that's the best way to grow. Remember that every obstacle that we have in life 
is a chance to learn and improve. So the more that you practice a growth mindset, the more confident and resilient you will become. Well, I hope you liked this episode and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, subscribe to the show because it makes sure that you don't miss out on new episodes. And it also helps me because it increases the rankings of the show a little bit, which of course makes it a little more easily found by other people who may like it just as much as you. And if you didn't like this episode or anything about the show in general, or if you have any ideas or suggestions or just feedback that you want to share, shoot me an email, eugene at leeway.ie and let me know what I could do better or just what your thoughts are on what you'd like to see me do in the future. I read everything myself. I'm always looking for new ideas and constructive feedback. So thanks again for listening to this episode and I hope to hear from you soon.